My name is James Bryan and I'm an agricultural economist with Farm Credit Canada. My role is to analyze economic trends and see what they might mean for our customers and Canadian agriculture. The Bank of Canada serves several functions including printing money, lending to banks, and I would say most importantly, keeping inflation in check. You can think of inflation as the average price increase in the economy over time. I'm sure most of you have heard your parents or maybe your grandparents say something like, when I was your age, you could get a soda for 25 cents. Inflation is the erosion in the value of money and is reflected by a general price increase across all sectors. The goal of the Bank of Canada is to keep inflation low and stable. This ensures Canadians that the money that they earn today will retain its value tomorrow. Price stability is good for both consumers and businesses as it allows them to plan for the future while facing reduced uncertainty. The Bank of Canada doesn't actually control inflation as that would require setting prices in the economy. It can, however, increase or decrease inflationary pressures by changing interest rates. The practice of the Bank of Canada is to set the interest rate with the shortest maturity which is called the overnight rate. This rate is reviewed eight times a year at predetermined dates. When the overnight rate changes, other interest rates change in the same direction. For example, if inflation is expected to run above the Bank of Canada's 2% target, it can raise interest rates. Increased interest rates provide incentives for everyday consumers to save more money. It also increases the borrowing costs. These two factors help slow down the Canadian economy and bring down inflationary pressures. On the other hand, if the Canadian economy is slowing and inflation is expected to run below the 2% target, the bank can lower rates. This will reduce incentives to save and decrease the cost of borrowing. Absolutely. When the Bank of Canada changes its overnight rate, financial institutions follow suit and the costs of financing your agribusiness change. The rates paid on variable rate mortgages and lines of credit will change almost immediately, while fixed rates typically depend on factors other than just the overnight rate. One method to reduce interest rate risks is by having multiple mortgages. This can be a combination of variable and fixed rates. This allows your debt to be priced at different times. This, however, does have to be weighed against the complexity of managing multiple mortgages. It's important to keep up with news on the Bank of Canada so you can get an indication of when interest rates may change. In the case of variable rate loans, it's prudent to make sure that your business can withstand an interest rate increase of 2%. This will allow your business to continue to succeed even if rates climb.